Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the bumper cover on this 2005 Volkswagen Jetta. And the items you'll need for this is a T25 and T30 Torx driver or bits with a ratchet and a Phillips screwdriver and flat blade screwdriver. Start off by removing these two T25 Torx bolts. And then remove two Phillips screws down at the bottom of the grill. There's one on either side. And we'll just fast forward as Mike removes these. Now push in these tabs and then pry the grill up. And there's one tab on either side. Before doing the other tab, you want to make sure that the grill is pulled up on this side so it won't just snap back in. And then release that side and your grill will pull free. Now remove this T25 screw right here. And then these four T25 screws below it in the wheel well. And we'll fast forward as Mike removes those. And then you want to repeat this process on the other side. Now remove these two T30 Torx screws. Now along the bottom of your bumper, you'll see this series of T25 screws. Just go ahead and remove all of those. Now push in your side marker lights and pry out the back. And then it'll pull free. And then you can just pull the bulb out. And after you've done that on both sides, just start pulling out on the bumper cover. And then reach back and disconnect the harness clip from either side, and then your bumper cover is free. Now to replace your bumper cover, just line it up, and then push one side back into place. And now the other side. You may have to line it up a little bit. And then just replace those two T30 screws on the front of the bumper cover and tighten those up. And then replace the five T25 screws in the wheel well on either side. Now reach down behind your side marker light and just pull the harness up and feed it through and then reclip it onto that lip on the bumper cover and then repeat this process on the other side. Now reconnect the wire to the side marker light and then push the front end first then the back and then replace this series of T25 screws on the bottom of the bumper. Take your new grill and line up these two tabs into these two slots. Just push the grill back into place. And then snap it back in at the top. And we'll fast forward as Mike replaces those two T25 screws and then the two Phillips screws on the bottom of the grill. And you want to make sure that you push the grill and bumper together so that the screw will go all the way through. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.